Welcome to another video on pure and applied calculator and shortcuts. The question says we solve this into partial fraction. And we have to use the shortcut method here. If you are dealing with objective question like this, I'll just say, I'll cancel anywhere I see X or any uh, any numbers that attach with X, I'll cancel it. So this one, I'll cancel it, I'll cancel it because there's X there. I'll cancel this one, I'll cancel this one, I'll cancel this one. So I will not deal with the numbers that remain in that equation. So what remains at the numerator here is minus 7. So I have minus 7. What remains here is minus 4. But multiply by, you know, the bracket is multiplication. So multiply by what remains here is 3. We check. This one is 7 over 12. So my, my value for the question is 7 over 12. So since I got 7 over 12 in the what? In the question. I will now come to the option. I will do the same thing. The answer that can give me 7 over 12 is the right answer. If you use your ANT method to solve it, you still get the same thing that I got. So that is it. Now, for the option A. Option A, I'll cancel this, I'll cancel this, I'll cancel this, I'll cancel this. So let's deal with the remaining values there. What you mean here is 2, then plus. You have to press the fraction button. What you mean that the numerator here is minus 3? Over what you mean here is minus 6? Then press the cos 2. You could see that this one gives you 5 over 2. Is 5 over 2 the same thing as 7 over 12? No. Let's come to option B. Cancel this, cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. So what you mean here is you have the value here to be 1, all over minus 1. Then we have minus, you have 2, all over what? Minus 1. Then come to this place, we have plus 1, all over. This one is into bracket minus 1, all square. Because the minus one here is inside the bracket, so square. You have to put it inside bracket. So press equals two. What you have here is two. So the value here is two. Now let's go for the option B. This one cancel, this one cancel, this one cancel, this one cancel, this one cancel. So what to be here is minus one all over one. Then plus this one will be zero all over. Sorry. Zero all over minus one. Because the reason why we can cancel them like that is because we made X be zero. So since you make x be 0, that shows that if a number is multiplied by that x, which is 0, it will be 0 as well. So that's why we cancel them. So now come to this place, plus the fraction button again, we have 2, all over what? All over 1. The press equals to here. This one gives us what? 1. Now let's cons let us come to the last one. You cancel this, you cancel this, you cancel this, you cancel this. So the remaining values will now be 3 all over, what you have here is minus 4, then plus what we have here is 4, all over what? All over 3. Press equals to. Can you see that the last one gave us 7 over what? 7 over 12. That shows that the right answer is option D. Because it's the only one that gave us the same thing with the words, with the option. So that is how they do the partial fraction using and method and using the calculator method. Like when you want to, this is the shortcut for it. Now, you can use this, you can practice this in many questions under partial fraction. And I'm very sure you are going to get this. Even if I was given this question initially, and I'm asked to find this question, sincerely, I will not pass through this method because I already know that the answer will be option D. But in some cases, some examiner will not set their options like this. Now, see this one. The denominator here is X minus 4. And 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. The only option that has the same denominator with the question is option D. So which, even obvious that option D will be the correct answer. So if I'm the one that I want to attend this question, I will not even pass through all this process before I will know that the right answer is what? Is option D. Because I already saw the words, the denominator that is the same thing with the word, with the question. There is no denominator that is the same thing with the question. So that's why I have to pick option D as the right answer. Thank you very much. God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us for more video. God bless you.